Okay, so in the last class, we have completed how to calculate the enthalpy change with the use of bond energy values. Now we are going to calculate if we have experimental data, the experimental results, then how we are able to calculate the enthalpy change. the technique or the experiment. Used to. Measure. Enthalpy change. Experimentally. Is for Kelly A calorie meter can be a polystyrene cup. vacuum flask or a metal can. So that is the uh, apparatus that we use to do the reaction uh, calorie meter which can be a polystyrene cup a vacuum flask or metal can for these experiments for the calculations Specific heat capacity C, which is symbolized by C of water, specific heat capacity of water is needed. which is four point one eight joules per gram per degree Celsius or four point one eight joules per gram per Kelvin. So there will be two units. In both the units, the value will be same. Okay. Till here, is this clear to both of you? To Brad, Mirza? Jeez. Okay. Now, to find The amount of energy 
released. Or absorbed. This expression can be used, and we will use this expression Q is the amount of energy released or absorbed is equals to. MC delta T. So Q is equals to amount of energy released or absorbed and its unit is joules. Then beside this, the M over here in the expression is mass of water. And as it's a mass, so it is taken in grass. Now, One centimeter cube is equal to for water. The one centimeter cube volume of water occupies by one gram of water because the density of water is one gram per centimeter cube. So in one centimeter cube of water, there is a one gram of water. So if the volume of the aqueous solution is given so it can be directly taken as a gram of water is this clear okay sir yes kubra no, no, we have a specific capacity of water. You have used this in physics as well, but where there are different substances for which you use that specific capacity, but here we are going to use it for water only, which is either 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius or 4.18 joules per gram per Kelvin. Delta T is change in temperature okay. so if we have to calculate the enthalpy change q is the amount of energy that is basically released or absorbed during the experiment. But if you have to calculate the enthalpy change, so that enthalpy change is equals to minus mc delta t over number of moles multiplied by 1000 or mc delta t is basically equals to q so we can write minus q over 
number of moles times thousand. <laughs> Is this so can you repeat this? So can you repeat this? Yeah, CQ is equal to MC delta T. So if I have to calculate the enthalpy change, either we use this whole term or instead we I am going to express it like this because this whole term is equal to Q, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So here N is the number of Modes of substance involved in reaction. So, specific heat capacity and mass, both the values are for water, and it is the number of the mode of the substance, uh, which is basically taking part in the reaction. And by this above expression, the enthalpy change, which is calculated, is calculated in kilojoule per mole. There is one important thing over here that. Delta T is negative if delta T is negative, then the enthalpy change of a reaction is going to be positive. The reaction will be endothermic, and if the change in temperature value is positive, then it means that the enthalpy change for a reaction is going to be exothermic negative. Is this clear to all of you? Yes. Yes, sir. Now, have a look at this question. When calcium is placed in water, aqueous calcium hydroxide is formed and hydrogen is given off. So they have given to inform you that your reactants are calcium and water, calcium hydroxide and hydrogen are product. Write the equation for the reaction of calcium with water. So how we are going to write it? Calcium. Plus water. Calcium hydroxide. So calcium have a two positive ion and hydroxide is one minus ion. So the formula of calcium hydroxide is going to be CaOH twice and hydrogen gas. Yes. So if I have to balance the equation, I have to put two over here and my equation is balanced. Is this clear to all of you? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now have a look over here. One gram of calcium is placed in 200 gram of water. So that is our reactant, right? 
and for the reactant we have to calculate it its moles right if you see over here n are the number of moles of the substance involved in the reaction mass of water is provided which is 200 grams the temperature increases by 12.2 so they have given you the temperature and they have provided you the specific heat capacity of water as well. See, the specific heat capacity of water is 4.2 joules per gram per gallon. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what they are asking, calculate the heat released in this experiment. So it means we have to do use this word expression Q is equals to MC delta T. So M is the mass of water, which is 200. C is the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.2. And change in temperature is 12.2. So can any one of you tell me the answer, please? 10248. 10248. Hamza, what will be its unit? Sir, joules per. Yes, what will be its unit, Hamza? Sir, kilojoule per mole. Why? It's Q. Its unit will be joules only. See, I have told you that it is joules. Okay. Okay, sir. So. Its unit is joules. Now, calculate the standard enthalpy change. Now, you have to calculate the delta H. Include joule per mole for your equation in V1. Okay. So, to calculate the enthalpy change, we have to use this expression. Right? Yes, sir. This is the number of moles of calcium over here, and the calcium, the amount of calcium used is one gram, right? Yes, sir. Start to convert these into moles, so it is going to be 1.00 divided by 40. So can anyone please tell me the answer? 0 0.025. 0 0.025. Now put all the values in delta H minus 10248 divided by 0 0.025 times 1000. Why, why we are using 1000 over here to convert kilojoules joules into kilojoules? Now tell me the answer, please. Minus 409.9. Minus? 409.5. Yes. 409.9. Is there any other figure after 9? 9, 92. So it would be 3. 92. Kilojoule per mole. Is this clear to all of you? <clears throat> yes, sir. Sir, is there any bond breaking minus bond formula? Because they didn't provide you the bond energy, right? See, there are different ways to calculate the enthalpy change. See, in these questions, they are asking you to calculate the enthalpy change using data booklet or using bond energies. 
But here they didn't provide you the quantity. Instead, they have provided you the experimental values that how much water is used, how much that substance is used. Okay, sir. Okay. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a question. Who will have that class? That's all.
Okay, so this is the question, and here you go. Now you have to attempt this question and WhatsApp me the solution. Try it till the last part. Last part a little tricky, but if you focus on the question, you get to know how to attempt it. Otherwise, I will tell you how to solve it. Do it now and WhatsApp me the solutions, okay?